At the last Federal Open Markets Committee meeting, the Fed decided to pause their rate hike cycle and wait for more data to decide the proper course of action for monetary policy going forward. Many question the logic of skipping, yet signaling that more rate hikes are likely needed. But the FOMC is not just engaged in the analysis of how much core inflation has fallen, but the even riskier assessment of where it may be going. Year-over-year year PCE in its core has fallen to 4.6%, but the U.S. unemployment rate has not been above 3.7% since early 2022. Manufacturing PMI set in contraction territory since November of last year, but popped into expansion in April before falling back to contraction in May. Quarter-over-quarter quarter unit labor costs fell to up 2%, then moved higher to up 4.2%, and weekly jobless claims are creeping higher, but are by no means at crisis level. While a six-week pause may not be enough to decide which way economic data is trending, it does give the Fed room to turn an aggressive rate hike cycle into a less aggressive one or a real pause.